What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and in this video we'll be taking a look at the ZTE Grand X Max Plus from Cricut Wireless. Now this is a budget prepaid smartphone, but as you can see this thing can definitely hold its own against the competition. If you're in the market for a cheaper alternative smartphone or phablet, this phone might be for you. So let's take a look at everything the ZTE Grand X Max Plus has to offer. The ZTE Grand X Max Plus is available for around $200 from Cricut Wireless, which is about one third the cost of any other flagship smartphones on the market that are off contract or unlocked. But even though this phone has a smaller price tag, you still get a whole lot for your money. A big screen and excellent build quality powered by some respectable internals make this phone a pretty decent choice. Taking a look around the device, you get a 5 megapixel wide angle front facing camera next to an LED indicator and earpiece. On the bottom right corner of the back of the phone is your external speaker, which is pretty subpar. And the rear of the device is a glass finish with kind of a carbon fiber look. And the rear camera is 13 megapixels with flash. The right side of the phone houses the power button, the SIM card tray, as well as a micro SD card tray. The left side has just the volume rocker, and you can see the edges all the way around the phone are kind of a plastic finish. The top of the phone has a 3.5mm headphone jack and a small microphone hole, and the bottom has just the micro USB port for charging. The phone has a premium feel with great build quality, and obviously this phone is quite big at over 6 inches in length. The size and glass back make it a little difficult and slippery to use with one hand, and of course the back is an absolute magnet when it comes to fingerprints. The phone is powered by a Snapdragon 400 processor at 1.2 GHz with 2 GB of RAM, which obviously isn't the fastest or newest specs, but certainly gets the job done and should be more than satisfactory for everyday use. The ZTE Grand X Max Plus has a large 6 inch LCD screen at 1280 x 720 resolution and 245 pixels per inch. Of course, this isn't the brightest or clearest screen on the market, and you can definitely see the pixels up close, but it's pretty standard for a mid range phone and still looks pretty good at normal viewing angles. Granted, you do get some imperfections in color, and comparing the screen side by side to an S6 or iPhone 6, you can certainly see a difference. The 13 megapixel rear camera on the phone is pretty decent, and there are a lot of different features, settings, and tweaks you can use to manipulate your images to get the best quality possible for every unique situation. There are even more advanced options in manual mode like ISO, white balance, and contrast. And while all these tools may help a little, it's still just a mid-range camera on a mid-range phone, so don't expect to be blown away or anything. Likewise, the 5 megapixel front facing camera is fair and gives you a pretty decent wide angle for capturing yourself, a group of friends, or your surroundings. You can also manipulate some of the same settings that were found on the rear camera in order to better optimize your photos. The phone is powered by a very large 3200 mAh battery, and even though the battery has to keep that massive screen powered on and running, battery life on the device is really quite good. The phone can last even a couple of days without a charge during regular use, and even 6 or 8 hours of standard and by time only drains the battery by a couple of percent. All in all, I found the ZTE Grand X Max Plus to be a great budget mid-level smartphone. If you want to go the route of a prepaid plan, you can still get a great smartphone with a large screen and decent specs for a very reasonable price. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.